In this episode, Gloria is embarking on a journey to the Riviera. She can't believe this is actually happening. In fact, she might just be hallucinating. Either way, she's going there. Hey guys, so uh, I'm currently on my Riviera vacation. I am very excited to be here. I can't wait to go out and explore. Oh, let me show you what I brought. I packed a part of my spring capsule wardrobe. This is like a mini capsule from my main capsule because I'm only going to be on this trip for like 10 days. Anyways, let me show you what I've got here. Wow, this is looking so real. Even I am starting to believe in it. I'll let you continue. I've got six tops. A beige knit tank top. A white long sleeve top. A button top. A white linen button down shirt. A champagne silk button down shirt and a white cashmere sweater. I've also got six bottoms, a beige linen skirt, a pair of white wide leg jeans, a pair of straight leg blue jeans, a pair of dark blue flare jeans, a pair of black flare jeans, and a pair of black wide leg pants. As for the outerwear, you guessed it, I've got six of them too. A beige knit cardigan, a white fitted cashmere cardigan, a white oversized cashmere cardigan, a black leather jacket, a black oversized blazer, and a beige trench coat. I've only got one dress, just a white silk slip dress. As for shoes, I've got four pairs. A pair of white loafers, a pair of espadrilles, a pair of white heel sandals, and a pair of black heel sandals. I've got three bags, a basket bag, a white baguette bag, and a black chain bag. And finally, some accessories. I've got a straw boulder, three pairs of sunglasses, and two belts. On day one, I'm wearing my fancy beige knit tank top, paired with my new beloved white white leg jeans. These are the perfect jeans for a vacation in the south of France. I'm pairing this with my dainty white heel sandals, and since it's still gonna be a little bit chilly, I'm gonna put on this beige knit cardigan that comes with the tank top. You probably saw it coming. I'll finish the look with a pair of cat eye sunglasses and a white baguette bag. I'm not doing much today, probably just going to a fancy brunch with my friend, except I've got no friends here. This is a solo trip. <laughs> Day two is gonna be a warm and sunny day, so I'm wearing an easy breezy white linen shirt. I'll tie it at the front because that's what you do when you're on a vacation. I'm pairing this with a beige linen skirt because easy breezy, duh. I'm also wearing my espadrilles. These are your perfect vacation shoes, aka the only comfortable heels you can walk in. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm going for a farm girl look here, so I'll braid my hair as well. I'll finish the look with a straw boulder and a basket bag. I'm gonna go do some sightseeing today. Probably a lavender farm or some shit like that. Day 3, I'm wearing a basic white long sleeve top with a pair of basic black flare jeans. You might want to say, boring, but wait, I'm pairing this with my sexy black heel sandals and my cool girl leather biker jacket. I'm playing a juxtaposition between the feminine and the masculine here. And to take it up a notch, I'll also tie my hair into a bun, put on my aviator sunglasses, and carry my black chain bag. I'm probably dressing more like I'm in Paris right now as opposed to the French Riviera, but I don't have to dress like a farm girl on vacation. I can dress like a city girl if I want to. On day 4, the weather is acting up a little, so I'm gonna have to keep myself warm by wearing a cashmere sweater. I'm pairing this with my classic straight leg blue jeans and a pair of white loafers. I know, finally a pair of flats. Now I'm putting on a matching cashmere cardigan, but I'm starting to look like a grandma. So in an effort to not look like a grandma, I'll roll up my jeans, tie my hair into a sleek bun, put on my black shades, and carry my little chain bag. I probably still look like a grandma, but at least a rich grandma. Thank you. 
Day 5, I'm putting on a Breton top, a top that screams I'm on a beach vacation in the French Riviera. I'm pairing this with my white white leg jeans and my espadrilles. Can you even get more cliché than that? I'm also going to put on my oversized cashmere cardigan to keep me warm and cozy. And to finish the look, I'll wear my favorite straw boulder, put on my cat-eye sunglasses, and of course my basket bag. I'm going on a cruise ship today, by myself. Nope, I'm not depressed, but I am well-dressed. On day 6, I'm finally wearing my super fancy white silk slip dress. It's probably the most impractical thing on vacation, but who cares? As if this is not enough, I'm putting on a champagne silk shirt on top. Now please don't touch me because my clothes are very delicate. As for the shoes, I'm wearing my white heel sandals. I'll also tie my hair up, put on the straw boulder, my cat eye sunglasses, and carry my white baguette bag. Why am I so extra? Well, because I have now sailed to the Italian Riviera. The Italians, they like it a bit more uh, dramatic. Day 7, I'm wearing my white linen shirt again, and I'm pairing it with my black white leg pants this time. These pants are perfect for hiding your heels underneath. I'll be wearing high heels because Italian women wear heels wherever they go. Yes, I'm still in Italy. Now, I'm putting on my beige trench coat, the coat that solely says I'm cultured and sophisticated. I'll finish the look with a pair of black shades and a white baguette bag. I'm basically just pretending to be a movie star taking her secret vacation in Italy, but still want people to suspect she's a movie star. Day 8, I'm wearing my white long sleeve top with a pair of dark blue white leg jeans. These jeans are probably the most colorful thing you see in my capsule wardrobe. I'm wearing my black heeled sandals again because I need to practice wearing heels. I can't lose. And now I'm putting on my black oversized blazer because I want to go for that boss lady look. I'll finish this outfit with my aviator sunglasses and my black chain bag. This is probably the boss lady who couldn't let go of her attachment of being a boss lady, so her way to relax is to wear a more relaxed blazer on vacation. Day 9, I'm wearing my Breton top again, and I'm pairing it with my straight leg blue jeans. I'm also putting on my white loafers because I can no longer stand wearing heels. I miss being effortless. Now I'm gonna wear my cashmere cardigan, except I'm not wearing it. I'm putting it on my back purely for styling purposes. I know, very smart. I'm finishing the look with a pair of black sunglasses and a basket bag. Mind you, I'm treading dangerous waters here because I'm dressing like a stereotypical French person on Italian soil. Day number 10, I'm finishing strong with my fancy white silk slip dress and I'm styling it with my white heel sandals again. Now I'll put on my cozy oversized cashmere cardigan to add a bit of warmth and comfort. I'm also gonna braid my hair because I wanna create this sweet girl look. But don't be fooled by this look because I'll probably still kick your ass. Anyways, I'll finish it up with my white baguette bag. I know I'm literally just putting on all my white items. I swear I'm not going to a wedding. This concludes my 10 day vacation. You know what? I actually can't wait to walk down the aisle of an airplane.